What's up guys? Today we're watching season 4 episode 7 of Breaking Bad. So if you hear anything in, for this reaction just know I recently just got a kitten. I'm still trying to decide between the name of Sutton and Aspen. So if y'all have an input, put what put which one y'all think is better. But Breaking Bad, last episode. Not too much really happened to be honest. I mean Skylar got to see a part of Heisenberg, if you want to call it that. Yeah, she got to see Walt be kind of scary and his Heisenberg persona kind of came out and it was kind of weird because I didn't expect him to like be that kind of like scary with her. But I mean, after that, she fucking dipped and she went to the, I forgot what fucking place it was, but it looked like she was about to like try and get help. But whenever she came back, she saw that Walt got their son a car, and it was a nice-ass car, but she said that Walt's gonna have to bring it back so they don't, like, raise suspicion and everything, so that kind of sucks, but I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do, you know? But I'm ready to see what's gonna happen this episode, so I guess let's just get into it. The ankles again. I thought a zombie was about to come running out of nowhere, but no. <laughs> you like shooting stuff now? Well, it's just a video game, so... Washing it before bringing it back. Glenn. Call me if there's a problem. And please just don't... Don't tangle with anyone. She seems so, like, off with him, but it's like I understand why because of last episode. One, two, three. Doing that before you bring it back? <laughs> He's getting his fun with it before he brings it back. What'd you do? Are you off a curb or something? Look what you did, Walt. You were having too much fun and then now you're gonna have to get help so you can return it. Are you gonna blow that thing up? Just, you're gonna sit and watch it, poof. Right? That has to be what happens. Yes, thank you, the name is White. Uh, I'm at the Pavilion parking lot on University. Did you just climb up my chair? Come on. Take. I knew it was gonna blow up. <laughs> hey, there's there's total contrition here. There's mountains of contrition. Fantastic! I will I will messenger him over right away. I feel like we haven't seen Saul in so long. Bye. He was headed for destruction of property, but since it's your own property, I sweated him down to misdemeanor trash burning. 
So now you don't return the car, but you blew it up. And it's like, I feel bad for Walter Jr. Well, Joyride's gonna set you back about uh, 52,000 bucks, so was it worth it? I don't need to hear the blow by blow. Just tell me it's done. Okay. We're just pissing it away. Fine, rebel without a cause. Give. He seems like the most laid back person right now, and it's so weird. Ditch the thesaurus, all right? Uh, you talking about a hitman? Assuming that's still what they're called. <laughs> Wrong answer. What is up with him lately? Really wanting to get a hitman? West of the Rockies who do this kind of work. But guess what? These guys, they know Mike, and Mike knows them. What are you telling me Mike knows everyone who does this? Do you not know who Mike is? Look at that man. He got connections. I'm head to head with our friend Mike and Gus Fring. Hey, just winging that guy is not going to ameliorate your situation. Not by a damn sight. Mm-mm. We're near him. You can't get near him? Why don't you ask your partner? True. Jesse seems to get close to him. That's it. So this is like a, a regular thing? <sighs> How close were you to him? I just re realized he's repainting his house. Good for him. He's covering up all that shit. It was, it was over in 10 seconds. Would you just answer? Oh yeah, he talked to him at the, last, at the end of the episode. What people? Me. He said he sees something in me. <sighs> what is Walt gonna say about that? I feel like he's gonna depict it so much. Employs you as, what? A, an assistant gunman? A tough guy? Does that make any sense to you? No, it doesn't, but what else can you question at this point? Will you just keep making Jesse feel bad about himself? Like... You'll do what? I'll kill him. First chance I get. No fucking way. He's been doing the shooting games, but I don't think that's gonna help him with killing a another person. So now I wonder if he's actually going to go through with it. Do when they come in. Marie, how's Hank doing? You know what? He's doing better. Is he? Hell yeah! Mood's improved and he's like a maniac with his PT. It's fantastic. Yeah, don't- I'm so happy for Hank. That goes. Um, hi. <laughs> I'm pretty sure she noticed how strained that was. $100. Jesus. How much is that? $274,000. God damn. You make seven million. One hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars a year? Yes. Seven and a half even. Before expenses. You're so cocky about it. It's on the side. Save it for a rainy day. Save it. Where save it where? I can't go to the bank with it. I sure can't leave it here. I would say leave it somewhere at your house, but maybe that wouldn't be a smart idea. Skylar, this is a simple division of labor. I bring in the money, you launder the money. This is what you wanted. I never wanted any of this. You could have gotten out of it and you chose to come back. But I'm pretty sure you're doing it, you know, for your family too. And that's kind of what he's doing. So, you know. Oh. 
He's there alone again? Where is Jesse? Well, I guess like, you know, getting, trying to get closer to Gus. You're telling me you made this in the lab? Why not? What if he caught you on camera? Seemed appropriate. There's not much of it. He really is cocky with everything, bro. What about Mike? Mike can have his suspicions, but that's all they'll be. I thought he was gonna say kill Mike too, and it's like, please don't, because I actually love Mike. Keep it with you. When you have the opportunity, be ready. Their plan is so wild, though. That's gonna be a smart place to hide it, not gonna lie. I'm just gonna hope that you pick a good cigarette and don't accidentally smoke that one. Not that it, you can really... Could you ingest it? It's in a thingy and then it's gonna be burning with the- I don't even know. I'ma just quit talking because I don't know how that shit works. It's my lucky cigarette. Well, whatever you do, don't smoke it. That's what I'm saying. It might take me a while, but <clears throat> I'll get there. Jesus. Ain't we a pair? Uh, you must really like. He got Walter Jr. to bring him to Gus's business. No. New challenger? <laughs> yeah. I I barely got around the block, and m Mom said we couldn't afford it, so they took it back. More like Walt blew it up. To the sun, my. You don't let him buy you a clunker. You'd be driving now instead of borrowing mom's hoopty. Agent Schrader. Oh my god. Oh, hey, how you doing? Gus, I'm trying to make sure my cat doesn't fall. They're, they're good. The, the chicken is great. Uh, thank you. If ever you're interested in rewarding part-time work, uh, perhaps something after school? Yeah. My door is always... He's such a nice dude. It's like, he has a good front, bro. He took that shit for fingerprints. Uh, big doings today. The order of the day is eyes open, mouth shut. That's kind of mean, but he's gonna do what you say, so. And so we're seeing you this late in the episode, Mike. Don't tell me he's already about to see Gus again. Count off. So he's already seeing Gus again. You gotta use your special cigarette. Or your lucky cigarette, whatever you said it was. How do you even be so discreet with it, though, to sprinkle it on whatever? Sure. There you go. There's this opening. The coffee. He's being so paranoid about it, and he's gonna get himself caught and possibly killed. If you put it in the coffee also, it'll be for Mike too, so Mike might die. I have an extra holster. You stick this in your pocket, keep it out of sight. He's finally giving you a gun. All right, what's the order of the day? 
Eyes over mouth shut. That is literally so weird. Like, he went from working in the lab to working by Gus. I think that's the dude from the beginning of last episode. Are they gonna take it or are they gonna leave it? It's a lot of money. Que otra cosa sería un gastadero de tiempo? Así es que sí. O es que no. This feels like Gus is being threatened, and you don't threaten Gus. So they don't have a deal. Now what is Gus gonna do? Are you gonna try and shoot that man already, Jesse? What is this? I mean, you're, you're giving me a gun and... And now I'm like part of the team or whatever? It is weird, so I understand why you question it. If I had to put it in a word... I guess... Loyalty. Loyalty. He's loyal to Walter. Only maybe you got it for the wrong guy. Don't you dare try and switch Jesse from Walt. Walt has been loyal, I can't lie. Point. I think I'll have a hit. Jesse. What's going on with you these days? You know, I was just back on my stuff, but now I'm actually not really on it. So, you sober now? He told the truth. A couple weeks back, I, uh, killed a dog. So that's how he's gonna bring up he killed Gail. He can't really say I killed a person. He was gone. He was suffering. It was a kindness. No, he wasn't sick. I can't exactly tell him the whole truth, so it's like, what can you really say? What'd he do? Bite someone? No, this dog never... never bit anybody. You have to give him a reason as to why you shot him. Anything can happen. Hey, no rock that made me do it. Well, what was the problem? Why'd you have to kill him? Watch the crosstalk, please. That's what I'm saying. They're gonna think, why did he kill it? Who cares how you feel? What kind of a person kills a dog for no reason? Colleen. You put an ad in the paper? Bringing that up does, it's not helping. And accept? I mean, you back your truck over your own kid and you like accept? That's going too far, Jesse. About time. I feel so bad that he went through with that but it's like he went there and he told the truth about some shit and it's like he got it off his chest and it's not like he can go back and try and do it again and like sell shit to them so right there it's been a week what's going on i haven't seen him that was his way of getting him to talk <laughs> Hey, buddy! Look at that! Graduated the doorman. Finally found your calling. 
I feel like we haven't seen that dude in forever. I can't tell you what that means to all of us. Your progress, it's incredible. Yeah, well, chalk it up to clean living and vitamin pills. <laughs> And what caught my eye is uh, his specialty products, Blue. So what are you thinking? This is your Heisenberg? That's what he's thinking. Maybe. Heisenberg's former cook. And maybe a line on Heisenberg himself. So technically like his Jesse in a way, but okay. Or a pharmaceutical plant or a microchip factory, or maybe the biggest meth lab north of the border. So he's got a big lead. Who signed for it? Gail Bedecker. So I asked my new girlfriend who paid for it, and she says nobody. So anonymous. Oh, it, uh, the temp's gone. There's no forwarding address, and I'm talking to some snot-nosed corporate lawyer who's asking me for my badge number. Brick wall. A lawyer, would that possibly be Saul? Fermented lentil bread, or whatever the hell that is. What's a vegan doing in a fried chicken joint? He got a point, you know? Well, like maybe. This guy. They're going to think that's a long stretch, but... Closer. I mean, he's got the money to finance this operation. Maybe he's got the connections, too. Maybe, just maybe, he's our guy. It's so crazy how right he is, and yet they're probably not going to believe it. Blue math, you know. whole thing is off the map nuts. I had to be wearing a tinfoil hat, you know. It's not nuts, though. It's like... <sighs> what a Gustavo Fring's fingerprints doing in Gail Bedecker's apartment. So he matched it. He matched Gus's fucking fingerprints at Gail's place. Okay, so they... They can't even question freaking Hank now because Hank pulled out the facts. He pulled out that shit. That's why he got the fingerprints and he, it just blows my mind how right he is. And you saw, they were like, you know, that's really like a stretch thinking that it's Gus. And he's like, bam, here are the facts. And it is Gus that he was meeting because there were fingerprints at Gail's house. It's like, mm, I love Hank. Hank is such a good detective. That's how you know that's his job. Man literally figured it out. And it's like, yeah, he isn't guessing who Heisenberg is yet because you know it's Walt, but also he's never gonna guess that it's someone close to him. So you kind of like understand that part, but it's like the way he's connecting so much shit blows my mind and it's like he's not even working right now he is literally supposed to be on bed rest because you know he's getting physical therapy and everything to heal and man literally is figuring more shit out and the, I didn't even think that he was gonna bring this to like the people that he used to work with but he did and now they're I don't even know what they're gonna do they have to like do something about it. They're gonna have to look deeper into it because what he says is making sense. Ugh, love Hank. He is so smart. But that is also not good on like our end, you know. Love Walter, love Jesse. But it's like the closer Hank gets, the closer they are to getting caught. And it's like, mmm, it's I feel like it's gonna happen sooner or later, like I said. I feel like it's going to happen at least by the end of the season, maybe. And if it doesn't, I'm going to be surprised. Because it's like, how long can they really go without getting caught like that? Because you've seen the amount of times that they almost got caught already. Like, I swear. But it is 
Oh, it is so wild how Hank really just pulled up with that. But what else happened this episode? Walter blew up his kid's car. Instead of bringing it back, he got that shit blown up and got called to fucking cover it. And, you know, he was just having a good time. Because when else is he going to get to do that, you know? He was driving a nice-ass car. So what else can you really do? He didn't want to bring it back, but it's like Skyler was making him. But, like, you know, Skyler had a point. So they're just trying to keep shit on the down low. But, like, also Walter had a lot of money being put into the safe, like, at the car wash. And it's like... What's her name? Skylar was really thinking, like, where are we going to, like, put all this money? And, like, I was thinking in the moment, I said maybe they'd do it at the house, but I don't think that'd be a good place. They have to find something. Like, I don't know where they can put it. Somewhere that's not in their house. The only other place you put shit that's not at your house is either, like, you know, in your garage, which is normal, or you have your own storage unit. That's the only place I would think of. Would they ever get a storage unit? I don't know. But we'll see. I'm just ready to see what's going to happen in this, like, in these coming episodes. Especially for next episode to see what they're going to do with, like, all the information that Hank gave them. So, I guess, come back for episode 8. <laughs>